In this video, let's look at programming constructs using algorithms. Three key programming constructs that are used in designing algorithms and computer programs are sequence, selection and iteration. Let's briefly di discuss these constructs in the context of algorithms here. Let's first define each of these. Sequence, order of steps in algorithms. It is the order in which steps in algorithms are carried out. It is important that the algorithm contains correct sequence of steps to be able to complete the task or solve the problem. Selection. Here you are making a decision by asking a question and depending on the outcome, you follow one of the two paths or take certain actions and ignore others. The type of question you ask in selection should always have no more than two answers. Typical questions are where you have true or false or yes and no type of answers. You can use multiple selection constructs to cover all possible outcomes. Selection is very important in algorithms and programs as it allows us to portray real world scenarios where we have to make a choice out of several choices based on certain criteria. Iteration. Here a step or set of steps is repeated until told to stop or until some criteria is met. Iteration makes algorithms simple as you have to mention steps that will be repeated only once and avoid inclusion of unnecessary steps in the algorithm. Not all algorithms will use all of these constructs. Very simple algorithms will typically only use one sequence. Let's now revisit the algorithm that we saw in the previous algorithm video and identify use of these constructs in them. Let's look at pasta dish algorithm. In this algorithm, we follow step-by-step -step instructions to cook pasta and sauce and then mix the two to produce some pasta dish. Here are the steps for this algorithm. Gather ingredients. Take pan and add water and pasta to it. Put it on the stove. While pasta is cooking, take another pan and add ingredients to make pasta sauce. Put it on another burner on the stove and serve pasta on plate are all examples of sequence. Here we are following these steps in a particular order and only by following this order we will be able to make our pasta dish. Wait for sauce to become ready in pasta to cook shows us use of iterative construct. Here the process of sauce getting ready or pasta getting cooked are repetitive steps. Basically, we are constantly checking if sauce is ready or pasta is boiled or not. If sauce is ready and pasta is cooked shows us use of con selection construct. Here we are asking question such as is pasta cooked and is sauce ready? And when answer is true, we mix the pasta and sauce. Otherwise, we keep cooking one or both items until they become ready. Let's now look at algorithm to add two numbers. Here we have two numbers, 10 and 20. We add these two to produce the answer. Here are the steps. This is a very simple algorithm where we only use sequence. All the steps, if performed in the given order, will allow us to add two numbers, 10 and 20, to produce the answer 30. Finally, let's see what constructs are used in number difference algorithm. Number difference algorithm allows us to input pairs of numbers at a time from five pairs and find out the difference in them. The result is stored as the third number and the result stored in the third number is output. Here are the steps. Here input number 1, input number 2, store the answer as number 3 and output number 3 are all sequence of steps. These need to be followed in the given order. If number 1 is equal to or bigger than number 2, then subtract number 2 from number 1. Otherwise, subtract number 1 from number 2 is an example of selection construct. In this step, we are asking a question. And depending on the answer, we either subtract number 2 from number 1 or vice versa. Finally, repeat the above steps four times to show use of its iterative construct. Here, we are asking computers to repeat the steps four more times so that we can calculate difference from remaining pairs.
I hope you now have a basic understanding about sequence, selection and iteration constructs. Let's recap. Sequence is order of steps in algorithm. Selection is where you ask a question and depending on the outcome, you follow one of the two paths or take certain actions and ignore others. Iteration is where a step or set of steps is repeated until told to stop or until some criteria is met.